Hi everyone, my name is Anne Alice and I am the Children, Youth and Family Minister at Mount Seymour United Church in North Vancouver. And I'd like to welcome you to our video uh, for December 13th, 2020. Today is the third Sunday in Advent, the season that leads up to Christmas. Advent helps us to prepare, to help us get ready to enter the mystery and the wonder that is Christmas. Each week of Advent has a special idea associated with it, uh, hope, peace, joy, and love. This week, we're gonna talk about joy. And you can see that our angels from last week are having a joyful time on our Advent wreath. For the activity today, uh, you will need some supplies, which I'm going to tell you about right now. First, you'll need the template that came in the email to your families. It looks like this. If you came by this video not through the email, uh, the template is uh, available in a link below in the description. So you can just follow that link and print off this template. Um, you will also need some scissors, a hole punch if you have it, and some string, and some markers or pencil crayons or crayons or something to color with. Uh, you'll also see that I have put up last week's drawing that came in your email. Uh, we're building a picture for Advent. Uh, leading us up to Christmas and this week is picture three of four. I'm going to add it right here. That goes right there. Um, and these pictures are in the email uh, because of copyright. I can't post links to them in the description. So if you want access to these uh, coloring pictures, you will need to sign up for our weekly email, which is in the description below and I just want to mention I have posted my Christmas one of my Christmas cards that I just received today uh, up with my pictures because it has shepherds and sheep on it and that is part of our story today so if you want to pause this video and go grab the supplies that you need you can do so with the template and scissors hole punch, uh, string, and colored markers, you can do so. And while you do that, I am going to encourage our angels to go be joyful somewhere away from candle flames. Well, that's a little better in uh, the name of fire safety. <sighs> Let's take a couple moments and just breathe. As we get closer to Christmas, uh, it becomes harder and harder to remember to breathe. Here at Mount Seymour United Church, we have a welcome that we extend to all people and we want it to be as broad and deep as we can make it and we want you to know that you are welcome here no matter how old or how young you are no matter your marital status your economic status your financial background you are welcome here you are welcome here whatever your sexual orientation your gender identity or gender expression. You are welcome here. You are welcome here if you consider yourself to be a Christian or if you are a part of another faith tradition or if you are simply curious and a seeker on life's journey. And we welcome all who seek the ideals of justice, compassion and peace. Mount Seymour United Church is located on the ancestral and unceded territory of the Salewa Tooth Nation. 
These people have been the stewards of this land from time immemorial, and we honor their care for the land, and we honor their lives on this land, and we commit ourselves to working towards reconciliation as settlers on this land and work to better our relations with the indigenous people who have been here for so long. Each week in Advent, we have been lighting a candle on our Advent wreath. Advent wreaths and Advent calendars help us to count down till Christmas. They help us to remember and they help us to prepare. This week, we will be lighting the candle of joy, which is our pink candle. It has been a hard year for joy. Uh, a lot of people have had a hard time finding joy in the midst of this pandemic and all the change. Something that has helped me keep joy is my family and my cats. Um, they're always so fun to play with and they keep me laughing. And I take great joy in being able to spend time with my family and being able to laugh with them, despite all of the hardship that this year has brought. We are going to light our candles one by one and say the following. We believe in hope, even when it is hard to find. And we believe in peace, even when it is hard to find. And we believe in, oh, didn't quite make it. So we believe in joy. Even when it is hard to find. May hope, May peace, may joy light the way for all who seek it. Last week, we heard the story of the angel Gabriel visiting Mary and visiting Joseph and telling them about being parents for the baby Jesus. We also learned that the story of Christmas is told in two different books in the Bible, the book of Matthew and the book of Luke. Each story or each book tells different parts of the story. And then we combine those together to tell the full story at Christmas. So do you remember which part of the story came from which book? It's okay. I have trouble remembering too. So I come up with little ideas in my head to help me to remember. In the book of Luke, we hear the story of the angel visiting Mary. In Matthew, the angel visits Joseph. So one way that we can remember that is to remember that Luke is spelled with four letters and Mary is spelled with four letters. So the two names that have the same number of letters go together, Luke and Mary. The names of Matthew and Joseph are longer and so they go together. Today we're gonna hear the next part of the story and this part of the book, this part is in the book of Luke. And it's the story about the angels visiting the shepherds. Luke chapter 2, verses 8 to 20. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then the angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of God shone all around them, and they were afraid. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. 
For see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find the child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among all those he favors. When the angels had left them and gone back up into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste, and they found Mary and Joseph. And the child lying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. I wonder what it would feel like to see angels like that. And I wonder if experiencing something like that would be hard to believe. And I wonder if you've ever been afraid and asked for God to help you. Back in the time of Jesus, people who were shepherds were not treated with a lot of respect. They were often the poorest of the poor and people looked down on them and didn't think that they were very worthy. This is why the angel coming to tell them about Jesus is so important because it showed that God loves everyone and then wanted everyone to have the opportunity to know Jesus. To God, everyone is worthy and God loves all people. We can probably think of people in our world right now that society looks down on. People we might not think that matter as much as other people. Maybe sometimes we feel like we don't matter, that we're not worthy of love. The story of the shepherds helps us to remember that who we are is enough. We are worthy and we are loved by God, just as we are, no matter what. And this, is the good news and the great joy. Take a moment and feel the love of God surround you. Know that you are loved by God just as you are. You don't need to change or be any different than who you are in your heart. And doesn't that just fill you with so much joy? That's for me. That is the joy. For our activity this week, we're going to stretch things a little bit. So shepherds, they lived outside in the hills and the forests outside of the cities. Often when we see pictures about Jesus' time, everything looks like a desert 
And in fact, that's not the case at all. When I was in Israel a few years ago, I found it quite surprising that there was so much green and there were fields and pastures and there were forests of beautiful, beautiful trees. So the shepherds would have had their flocks in these good fields where there was grass to eat and there was shelter. So this week, we're going to make some tree ornaments. Here's how we're gonna do it. So as I said before, you need this template from the email or from the link below. And you'll want a pair of scissors, a hole punch, a bit of string, and some colors so you can decorate your tree. If I move too fast through these instructions, you can pause this video to keep up. It's not too tricky. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your template and you're going to cut it out. So you'll end up with something like this. Now, these dotted lines along here are where we're going to make some folds. So we're going to start with the smallest triangle and work our way to the biggest triangle. You can see I've already folded this one a little bit. So we're going to take this and we're going to fold it like this. So that this dotted line is inside. Now this fold, we're going to fold so that the dotted line is outside like this. And then we've got this dotted line and we're going to fold it inside. So we're kind of doing an accordion fold. And then finally this dotted line outside and we're done. And look, we have a tree. Then with your hole punch you're going to make a hole through the top of your tree. Now when I did a test run of this, I wrecked one because I couldn't get my hole punch to go through all the pieces of paper when it was folded up. So learn from my mistakes and take your hole punch and just punch a hole to start with through a couple pieces of your paper like so. And my hole punch happens to make a star shape, which is pretty cool. So then fold the paper a bit and try to line up your hole punch and make another and then fold it again and make another hole. Try to line it up, which I don't do very well. And then the final one so that in the end you have a hole all the way through and you haven't totally wrecked your tree. Yeah. Then you can take your string and put your string through the top of the tree, tie it up, and you have this really great And you can leave it kind of three-dimensional or you could use a glue stick and glue all the pages down and then with your colored markers or your pencil crayons or your crayons you could decorate it like I did with this one it's a little bit smaller because one of my pages printed out smaller it was weird uh, so then you have some trees for uh, your shepherds to hang out in now shepherds wouldn't have decorated Christmas trees. Decorated Christmas trees didn't come till lots later, but that's okay. There you go. A Christmas tree. And don't forget to check the email from your family because we're going to put this, here's the, the, the fourth one for next week right here. I'll have that done next week and we'll have our completed poster. We'll try really hard not to set it on fire.
For the last couple of weeks, we've been learning a new song. Well, it's a song we know, but we've been learning a new way of singing it. Our special guest, Heather, has been teaching us the song, This Little Light of Mine, in sign language. So we're gonna go and get a little bit more practice with Heather in just a moment. If you would like to record yourself, uh, doing a verse of This Little Light of Mine in sign language, following along with the song or singing it yourself, we would love for you to send us that recording. Or if you want to record yourself playing that song on an instrument that you know how to play, we would love to see that as well. If you could send that video to me by the end of this week, by Friday, if at all possible, that would be super fantastic. Email in the description below. Um, there is also a link to This Little Light of Mine in Sign Language, just the video, um, so that you can watch that video for practice or use it to play along. And again, link, description, below. And before we head off to see Heather and practice some more sign language, I want to remind you that our Design a Card Contest deadline is this Tuesday, the 15th of December. So if you're going to design a card for our contest, uh, we need you to get that to me um, by Tuesday, please. And speaking of cards, I would like to extend a huge thank you to our friends at Mount Seymour Preschool who have been making cards for our giving tree and have been collecting items. The items on our giving tree will go to First United Church on the downtown east side and to the North Shore Youth Safe House. Both of these organizations uh, work very hard to take care of people who are struggling with homelessness. The North Shore Youth Safe House in particular helps young people, teenagers, who need a safe place to stay um, when their own homes are no longer safe for them. If you would like to make a donation to our giving tree, you can do so by bringing in some items on our regular business days um, and putting them on our tree, which is right in the front lobby of our church. Uh, and you can also make a donation through our website. Uh, link in the description, click the donate button. And in the description on the donation page, you can write that you want your donation to go to First United Church or the North Shore Youth Safe House. Um, and we would really appreciate it. And so would they. Um, you can also send us an e-transfer to the office email. And again, that email will also be in the description below. Okay. Over to you, Heather. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Hey, I'm Heather, and we're going to be learning how to sign this little light of mine. So first, you want to take this little, so it's like, it's like a little box, like this little, and then light is like a flickering flame, light of mine. Have your palm open and have it to yourself. So this little light of mine. And then take your pointer finger and point it at yourself and say, I'm 
gonna let it shine. Like it's shining all over the place. It sparkles. So this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. So now we're gonna learn how to do the second verse. So it's hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. So you wanna take your fist like this and then have it like a table and you're hiding it. So it's hide it under a bushel, like a plant growing, hide it under a bushel. No, take your three fingers and go no. So hide it, hide it under a bushel, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hi, I'm Heather, and we're gonna learn the next two verses of This Little Light of Mine in sign language. So first we're doing, won't let anyone blow it out, I'm gonna let it shine. So to say won't, won't, we go like, won't, like, we won't, and then let, and then anyone is like, you make like a fist kind of, and you go like that, and then one, any one. So it's won't let any one, then blow, Blow it out like you're blowing. And this is the air. And then I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let anyone blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. So the last verse is let it shine around the world. I'm gonna let it shine. So we go let it shine and then around, like it's going around a circle, around and then the world is you take your fingers like two W's, put them like this and then go around like it's a, a world because the world is round. <laughs> you say I'm gonna let it shine. So, let it shine around the world. I'm gonna let it shine. Now we're gonna sign the whole song. This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine Let it shine Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't let anyone it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let anyone blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let anyone blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. 
Let it shine around the world. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine around the world. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine around the world. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine.